machining centers, or milling machines, perform metal cutting operations on a workpiece that is fixed to the machine table by a vise or fixture, and is machined using a rotating cutting tool. The spindle that rotates the cutting tool can either be oriented vertically or horizontally, depending on the type of machine. There are vertical machining centers, or VMCs, and horizontal machining centers, or HMCs. The focus here will be on HMCs. For better visibility of the machining process, these videos will not show the coolant spray or falling metal chips that would typically be seen. In general, machining processes are used to shape a workpiece into the required profile and to produce a smooth surface finish on the metal. Many of the operations performed with machining centers are considered milling operations, in which multi-point cutting tools are used to shape the workpiece. Manually operated milling machines have been used for centuries and are still used today. Most modern high-volume operations use computer numerical control or CNC machines. Machining centers can produce many different parts, including cylinder heads, crank cases, automotive knuckles, gearboxes, and much more. Machining centers often have a closable door or enclosure to protect operators from hazards such as spraying liquids, flying metal chips, or the part or cutting tool coming loose during machining. The workpiece is held in either a vise or fixture which are mounted on the machine table. The tool magazine houses multiple cutting tools of various types that are transferred to the spindle by an automatic tool changer or ATC. With several cutting tools available, the VMC and HMC can perform a series of different operations such as drilling, tapping, and boring, along with milling operations such as face milling, side milling, and thread milling. The machine can also perform complex operations, such as the creation of die molds and cylindrical interpolation by rotating the cutting tool along multiple axes simultaneously.